right, this is another one. This is a breaking news. Oh my God, a lot are happening right now. And the Nigerian army have been able to hear their minds on this one. In fact, they have said that they are unhappy. So Woholu denied inviting horse. Army tells hashtag answers panel. This is serious. Now the army are now saying that they are not happy because the governor of Lagos State, Sonwolu, has denied the fact that he invited them to kill, to shoot at hashtag answers peaceful protesters at the Lekki toll gate. Can't you see that there is a big war right now? All right, the news in detail. A brigadier general of the Nigerian army has disclosed that the governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sonwolu, did invite them to intervene in the hashtag answers protest that held in Lagos last month. All right, and on this one, the commander of its war military intelligence brigade, Victoria Highland Lagos Brigadier General Ahmed Taiwo, says the Nigerian army was unhappy that Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, denied inviting the military on October 20, 2020, when soldiers shot at the Lake Hitoll Gate, where hashtag NSAS protesters were gathered. Taiwo said this on Saturday in his testimony before the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry probing the Lekki incident. The general, however, said inviting the military was the best decision the Lagos governor could have made as the hashtag NSAS protest plunked the state into anarchy, but added that the army was also unhappy that Sonwolu said two persons died from the military engagement at the Lekki toll gate. All right, well, the truth of the matter is that Sonwolu cannot be blamed. Uh, reason being that Sonwolu, as the governor of Lagos State, is under pressure. So he is trying every means possible to deny every allegation. If you look at Sonwolu as the governor, if you look at him very well, you will notice that he is a perfect gentleman who has been you know, lured to. No, to do and undo. In fact, should I use the word he has been pressed? Like he's been pressed, he's been ordered. He does not have the decision of his own. Because if you check out all his conversation, as at the last time he said that what happened, that as in the incident that happened at the Lekki toll gate was you no know, a decision of which he cannot control. You understand? He could not be able to control what happened. What happened at the Lekki Toll? Because it's beyond his own capability. It was beyond his own reasoning. In fact, it was beyond his own strength that he could not. That is to tell you that Godfatherism had been ruling over Sonwolu. And that is the more reason why a lot of people have been going against Godfatherism when it comes to politics. Someone like the Edo State Governor, the Governor governor of Edo State, Godwin Hobaseki, he has said that, well, let's say no to Godfatherism. Because with Godfatherism, a lot of things will be done that, no, even in your name, will tarnish your image simply because you don't have the power of your own to control it. Because they will keep ordering you, they keep telling you what to do. And no, you know this is Nigeria. Everybody wants to live a good life. And for you to live a good life, somebody is now controlling your affairs. That if you do not do this, your good life that you are trying to live will be terminated. So that is the same thing that has happened to the governor of Lagos State right now. Yes, he will deny it because he had been told that he had been told to deny everything. If you know you want to leave, if you know you want to continue your tenure as a governor of Lagos State, make sure you deny you. Deny, don't ever say yes to anything. Even the ones that are correct, you tell them it's not correct. Till the end, keep denying. <laughs> oh my god
This is what is happening in the Lagos government regime. In fact, Nigeria as a whole, this is what is happening. They will keep denying everything. Yes, they will keep denying everything so that things will keep working for them. So the Nigerian army are hungry right now that why is it that the Lagos state governor will not deny that he did not invite us to come and shoot at hashtag answers protesters. Why is he not denying? That means he's just trying to put the whole blame on us. That no, now, someone who you shouldn't do that. Just go straight to the point. Let them know that you were the one that sent us. But yet, you still deny. So these people are not happy that what is happening. You called us to come and perform a duty. A duty that you know that it will favor you as a governor of the state. Now you are denying because you have been caught. You are not trying to put all the allegations on us. No, we will not accept this. That is what the Nigerian army has seen right now. Can you now see that the whole thing has now been revealed? The secret has now been revealed. So Wolu is in a mess right now. No wonder I noticed that I saw a lot of Nigerian police. He sent them to go rescue his elder brother. Because the so-called hoodlums were all over his area to kill the elder brother the video went viral where sh police had to you know engage in gun battle with the hoodlums that is it they had to engage in gun battle with them in order to protect someone's elder brother he knew what he had done now, for the Nigerian army to have said it that Sonwolu, why can't you just be a governor that you called yourself to be? Be a man to tell them the truth that you are the one that sent us. Then why are you denying? Now, the Nigerian army are not happy. Yes, they are not happy. And that is to tell you that the blood of the peaceful, innocent protesters that were killed, their blood is now coming to reveal the whole secret. It cannot be eaten forever, but my own surprise is that why would a governor, as in a governor that a lot of people have expected, like Son Olu, engage in this kind of dirty deal, in this kind of shady deal? It's unfair because of position, is it because of money? What do you tend to gain? I pray that the good Lord will forgive you because. You have just messed yourself up, and that is what is happening right now. We have to tell them the truth. They have messed up. If they like, they should continue to be arrogant on this, but we have to tell them the truth. What What a shame. Too bad. Well, that is it. Anyway, the Nigerian army has revealed that Son Wolu sent them. Now he is denying the fact that he sent them because of the position, because he want to continue as the governor of Lagos State. Vanity upon vanity. Well, that is it, my people, on this one. Let me have more takes from you on this. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.